ominous, dimly lit, marbled floor in a stone slabbed room, with someone watching a mirror depicting the fate of Rin's young brother Dallin. It seems as though that this was all part of a much larger design. Ella, with Sadie Hala, friends, and welcome to what will be the final part of Draken Order of the Flame. I would like to begin with showing my gratitude to everyone who joined me in Rin and Eroc's journey in this quest filled with swords, sorcery, and adventure. And to remind everybody that if you are to play this game for yourselves, you need only go to my first video, which has both Eroc's Lair's fan site and the full free version of the game on my abandoned wear which I will have links to in that description. I'll also include some visuals of the still active multiplayer, where you're pitted against other players, battling it out using an arsenal of weapons and spells to vanquish your foes and claim supremacy over the land. Or brag and rights to your friends. <laughs> and if that's not enough to whet your appetite for multiplayer, you'll also have the means to battle each other in the sky with full dragon flight and control, where your abilities and skills are now solely relied on your trusted companion. Using an assortment of your dragon's breath abilities and speed, you will be on your wings in a means to survive while facing many threats above and below you the entire time. And if you're not quick and careful, you will know the meaning of Eroc's warning with a fate worse than death. But what of Rin and Eroc? What happened to them while they flew off to escape the collapse of the portal to the Rift World? What of the fate of Rin's brother Dalin? And what will become of Rin's home and her village? Well friends, that is a tale for another time. If you've enjoyed this series and you're happy to see more of this style of content, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know you've enjoyed the show. This has been the Games Guild. You have all been awesome. And as always, Godspeed.